Hey everybody. Um, I'm just doing a real quick review on something here. Um, excuse my fingernails are a little messy right now because I've been messing with a lot of inks. <laughs> so anyways, um, these stamps are from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Uh, they're planner essentials for like planner journals and stuff like that, but they're also great in the junk journal world. Sorry my hands got red on them, it's the ink. <laughs> so anyways, um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've been waiting for these to come in. These are called signature stamps. They're a very popular thing right now with the journaling, the junk journal, uh, homemade journal, whatever you want to call it, journaling, uh, but the journal side of things. So... Um, I just wanted to show you the results I got from these and how much I like them, if they're good or not. Uh, this is from Stazon Ink. It's a very permanent ink, so if you do use your Stazon Ink, there is a center here to these. They're not just empty, just a square of silicone. They're actual solid silicone, uh, but they have raised, you know, just like a regular stamp. Uh, but when you do get the ink, it does get on the center there, so... You know, and that happens with the expensive ones on Etsy that are like 80 something dollars, and then plus the shipping. Um, but, anyways, uh, these I got on Amazon because I can't afford the expensive 80 something dollar signature stamps, and I wanted to, to get some badly, just like everybody else does. And so I went on, I went on a little uh, search spree. I looked everywhere, even on Craigslist, which doesn't make sense. Anyways, um, went on uh, uh, Amazon, and I found these. These They had some other ones that were expensive, but these look just exactly like the ones that uh, Gail uses and the ones that um, uh, Rachel uses. And so I thought... Why not try them? What can it hurt? I mean, the worst that I'd be doing is spending 12 something instead of 87 something and find out that they're worthless, you know? So, I ordered them. I have Prime. I got the shipping for free. It just took a little time because of what's going on in the world, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's why it took so long. So, be prepared. It will take a little bit of time to get these. But it's worth it. And it's by that company there. So, that's what it says. And like I said, it will get on the center parts, but it does that with the regular ones too. I guarantee you that, because I even watched some of the girls' uh, videos and I noticed they were getting it on there and they was having to wipe it off. So, with that said, I'm going to show you what you get when you use these. So, here's all the stampings I did. As you can see, the ones that got the ink on them, I pressed down. If you don't press after stamping, Getting the ink on there. And if you get the ink on the inside stuff, use your acrylic pads. Don't use your finger because when you use your own fingers on here, like I did these whole. I just stuck them on there and then stamped them down. I used the plastic they're on because I was being lazy. <laughs> uh, if you have an acrylic pad, use it if you can. But this is what I did with mine. I actually went ahead and stamped them up on this plastic. And I placed them where I wanted them, let them go, just let them fall, or actually I didn't. I just went like this, got them right where I wanted them, and then let them go. Took my, my acrylic pad, I have two of them, and I put one on one side and one on the other, and then I just press like this. And that's how I started getting the uh, stamps without getting anything on the thing, the surface. Now this is from me dropping my stamping pad. Uh, unfortunately, but it might have been a perfect little mistake. I think they look more rustic when you get a little ink here and there, even on the inside. I think they look a little rustic. If you have OCD like I do, if you, I don't know if yours is that way, my OCD, if I'm the one that made the mistake and I intended it to be a mistake, it doesn't bother me. So, and then I also fool my brain into believing that I intended that to happen. You know, and it helps me. So, I'm just saying for those that have that same issue, that's what you can do if you want to try that. You can. Um, but, yeah, this is how they'll turn out. They look quite good. Um, you can see where I didn't get enough ink on them. But, otherwise, they did really well. Because, see, there's that one. And you can see that you can get a solid. So, it was me and my inking skills. You know. That's what it looks like. I just love accidentally getting a little ink places on there. I think it's really, really cool. It makes them look rustic. You know, looks messy. I like that in a way. But yeah. So, um, 
that's what you can get with these. I've been waiting for these. I've been wanting to do this video. And I've been wanting to try these out more than anything. I wanted to see what they'll turn out like. And the reason why I do this is because I want to put things on the inside of these. What do I have in my drawers here? They gotta be small enough that they will fit. Hang on, let's see. I have Tranquility. Let's see if Tranquility will fit in one of the squares. It might fit. Okay, so let's try that one. Um, I'm going to use a... I'm trying to figure out what color I want to use. I guess I'll use the Stays On Timber Brown. I'll use the Stays On Timber Brown. This one. Word of advice, if you do have, if you don't, if you want your ink pads to be prepared and ready for you when you're ready to reuse them again, store them upside down like this. They will not spill out unless you overflowed your ink into them, you know. That's about the only way. Now, you don't have to do this exact, see I've got it upside down already. That's tranquilly. Okay. But you don't have to do this perfectly. I just want to make sure I get some with words on them. And I'll show you what you can do other than that if you choose to. You can print out. Um, you can do a whole bunch like this. Copy it and then uh, onto your computer. Save it. Clean it up where you want it cleaned up. And then turn around and print that out. And see how it turns out. If it turns out really well, what you'll want to do is to um, find like uh, a couple of your, what do you call them, uh, digitals. And print them out and use this as your paper, if that makes sense. You know, like, in other words, print these out, put them back inside your printer, and then print out your digital on top of that. And you'll get the digital in the background, if that makes sense. Okay, Tranquility turned out pretty well. I like that, and so that can stay out. What other one did I have? I have Harmony as well. I have a couple of them. I have Love, Harmony, Tranquility, and there was another one too. I don't remember which way it goes. Um, I'll just try Harmony on this one. Got to get it just right. They came on some uh, stamps that were dealing with um, Chinese writing. And I really didn't need the Chinese writing, so I took them off of that. Trying to think, what else can I use? I can use these. Ooh, I like that thing. Let's see what that one looks like. If I can get it out. There we go. There we go. Harmony's on there. This one says wisdom. Let's see if we'll put wisdom. I messed up my nail trying to pull that out of there. I'll put wisdom on this little round one. But I see this one. This is a holly branch. I thought I'd use that one next. That does turn out really, really cute. You can change up your inks as well. You don't have to use the same ink on these. Let's see. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to put it on this one to help hide that, my little blemish. Kind of get on the outside. I press too hard on my thing, but see, get there and there. Oh well, that's okay. Not a big deal. Let's put that to the side. And not use it again. <laughs> we have these from uh, what is her name? Jane something or something Jane. I don't know. Anyways, uh, you can get them on Etsy as well. They're just peg stamps. Just put in peg stamps. And her name is Jane as well, so you can put that in there as well. I like these because they have a line on this side. It lets me know where they, where the, you know how they are supposed to be. You don't have to use them that way. You can turn them all the different ways you want. That turned out really cool. Um, here's a flower one. There's all kinds of shapes. There's a flower one. 
Sorry, I guess I should have showed you what it looks like first time. Huh? Come on, there you go. Um, I'll put the flower in this one. Well, that turned out really cute. Now, a lot of women, I noticed, use numbers. So, we'll get out my numbers. Number nine seems to be a very popular one with the ladies. So, we'll use number nine. It can be number six, too. There is a six in there as well. The six and the nine look exactly alike. I don't know why they didn't just give you a different number or something. Wait a second. I did that the wrong side, y'all. <laughs> oh, I pulled it out. Hang on. Let me get it back in there. There we go. I had somehow, some way, it was on the side the number was, so I had to turn it on its right side there. Okay. So we'll do it in this little bitty box one. Oh, I've got it upside down. So I'm going to have to redo that. There we go, number nine. So I'm going to redo that and pull it around. Flip it back around. Yeah, that's the thing. These came from Walmart, by the way, if you're wondering. There we go. Got it the right way. These are the uh, snap-in together kind of things. If that makes sense. You can put them together. I have the alphabet as well. I can't find the lowercase ones. All I can find is these uppercase. These are the only ones I could find. Yeah, uh, you can get them on uh, Amazon as well. But Walmart also has it on their, I think it's on their online shop. Yeah, there's that. Number nine. And if you don't like the fact that it says number nine the way it does. Hang on a minute, I got that the wrong way. <laughs> um, if you want it to have the hashtag, all you have to do is do it by hand. Just get you a pen. I'll do. You just do the hashtag number sign like that. Or you can also do the um, i trying to remember how do, they, how do they do that again? I just had the thought in my mind how they do that. Anyways, they have the hashtag number 9 and they also have another way that they do the number 9. Oh, it's N-O. That's what it was. So let's do that real quick. So just go. Oh wait. My bad. Don't need to do that. I grab them. So we'll do another one. And I'm going to use the big letters. I guess that's a good thing I have the big letter here, but the O will have to be small. So the way I'm going to have to do that is by hand. So we're just going to put the N. I think I got it at an angle. There's the N. And then I'm going to make an O. Actually, it should be up here, shouldn't it? I just messed that up. An O, and then you put, which means number if you didn't know. And then you do the 9. Number 9. There we go. <laughs> I mean, just as easy as that. Now, there is other things you can do as well. Hold on, i got to get these back together. Put them up. 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 Um, get all these back together and put them up. Because I'm very, very OCD. Sorry. It's just me. Okay. Now, you can decorate these other than just doing it separate. You can just, just take a big stamper and put it on there. Let's see if I can one. It's really cool. Um, we got two here that we can go with. Like these two here. This one is, these are from wish.com. I think this one, I don't think it is. I think this one is from uh, Tuesday morning. So we use Tuesday morning first. This one's from wish and it just, it's a, like a newspaper or a page in a book or something like that. I was I didn't order that. I actually ordered um, script, and it came as that one. I just sometimes leave it on the little plastic they're on, and just kind of do my thing. 
I just loaded it with some ink. I mean, whenever I'm using the stamper, I'm not saying this is the first time I've ever done it on this. And just find a spot to plop it down. I've got them. There we go. We'll just use this one. Just lay it down on there, just like that, softly. And all I'm going to do is use two of these and press evenly that way. That I did a while ago when I was making these was to put two of these down and press evenly. <laughs> that makes any sense. Um, but yeah. I'm just going to go like this. Again, these are acrylic pads on there. You don't do this with your hands like that. See, I don't know. Acrylic pads. Now we're just going to pull that up. There we go. But you want to use something like the do it do this on the black background and maybe use a light like the vintage photo. This was the vintage photo square. So this one turned out pretty. I do like that. Huh. Who knew? I didn't even know I had this all this time. I knew I had it, but I never I didn't know it was gonna turn out looking this pretty. That's pretty cool. I never got to use it until now. That's <laughs> what happens when you put things away and you don't mess with them, y'all. You, know, you forget they're there. Now this one is like a page in a book that I didn't order. It came from Wish.com. So we're going to find out how it turns out. See if Wish knew what I needed at the time or something. <laughs> okay. So this one I'm just going to do it on over here in this corner because there's nothing over here in this corner and it's all black there we go now I did touch some of the other ones and that's fine that is totally fine Cezanne is pretty quick on putting his print down. See? It looks like a page in a book. I'm trying to figure out what that looks like. Oh, it's just like a, a collage of a whole bunch of things out of the dictionary. Okay. Huh. Talking about garden and flower and just stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I like that stamp then. And I put it down for so long because I was mad because I wanted... There was another stamp I ordered, like I said. So I ordered one of these kind but in acrylic with script this is script if you didn't know it's like cursive writing and I had ordered that through wish because it was you know pretty near nothing when you get anything from wish so you're just hoping for the best I even ordered uh, these kind of papers from wish that have beautiful print to them never got them they actually canceled they canceled I didn't cancel they canceled and I never received those <laughs> really got upset about that because I really wanted those papers as when I first got in got into junk journaling as well I'm trying to figure out which way did that go in but yeah I, I uh, ordered script like this and they sent me this instead and I was very upset so I gave him a bad review <laughs> because I wanted script you order something, you want what you order, not something they think that you might want. Okay, so this one is the script pad I have, and I'm just going to go ahead and use it as well. We'll just put this like here on this corner here. Just one little spot. We'll just stamp, stamp, stamp. It gives a background to your other stamps as well. Oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> there we go. So that did, did really well. I'll go ahead and stamp it again and get rid of the ink off of this pad. There we go. Cool. Cool. Oh, I see some more on there. There we go. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Oh, that goes here. But 
yeah, that's what you can do with these. You can actually, I know it looks pretty dingy looking and everything, but it's not. It's actually really pretty. Once you cut each one of those out, you won't see the excess. A lot of people might think, well, that's wasteful. You know, that's a lot of paper in between. Sometimes you can't help that. Sometimes you waste a little, unfortunately. So, okay, there you go, y'all. Now I'm going to cut one of these out so you can see how they turn out real quick. How much minute? I have 30 minutes, or 30, I have 10 minutes to go before it ends up cutting me off. So let's cut out a couple of these. So we'll use this instead of my fussy cutters. So we'll just go through here and just cut these. Like if I wanted to use one of these, all I have to do is just cut this out. Just like that. I do like these a lot because they have that outer ring too. That if you cut that off, it's not a big deal. It can give you the lines. It's kind of like a line dimensional thing. You know, helps you to cut it right. And then you have all these little things that's in that. If I can get it to focus. There you go. And then you can just add another stamp to that that might be cute, like a leaf. Change the color of this real quick. Use the lime green because it just popped open and, and all. So we just stamp it down. There we go. Oh, you really can't see it. So. We'll try that again with this one instead. Um, just put that over here and get that off. Alright. There, I guess. It may not be in the right spot, but I will. I'm just trying to give you a point to how it will turn out. There you go. You can just put a like a little leaf in the middle of it that will make it look really cute. There's all kinds of ways of doing these. They're really cool. I've watched the other ladies make these and I just, I've just i been waiting and waiting and waiting and I just thought I'd share this with my channel, with my viewers, that you can do this. It is cool. It ain't just the ladies that do this. It's, it's really cool. And you can keep these little pieces like this. Instead of wasting that piece, I can just cut it flat Oh wait, how far over? Yeah, I went over a little bit further. See, I make uh, miniature journals as well. But yeah, you just take off little corners. And you've got you a little, out of the scraps, you got you a little bitty, um, oh, I need to cut the end where it's flat. There we go. Now I've got a little bitty one. And the back is also, oh, this one don't have the back on it like that. Yeah, you can always do that with these. So that's really cool. I'll be cutting these out later. Not right now. Right now, I just want to have fun with these stamps. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Gotta get all this up without it getting all over my floor. I have a cat that eats paper. If I don't get it into the trash can, he'll eat it. Yeah, I have a goat slash dog cat. Because <laughs> even dogs do it too. They'll chew on the papers. So yeah, I mean, this one's going to be the hardest because the print is darker than the, the, uh, what do you call them? But yeah, they still can be seen though. All you have to do is just cut them out. Cut that one straight across. <laughs> it's kind of like cut ladies here we'll do I'll do the circle I don't like how it cut the ladies legs you know oh it's hard to see the yeah see I'm gotten out I got out of balance there okay cut that 
straight up. Is it got on my nerves? I couldn't tell where my circle is. There. Because my ink's a little darker. You can barely see the circle. So yeah, I mean that's a that's a a flop on these. So I'll probably throw those away because I don't really care for those. So if you do use the darker colors as your print, make sure that you're using a black color ink for your frame. Otherwise, it's not going to blend right. Yeah, I'm knocking everything off of my areas because of this paper. Let me just cut it. Be done with that. I'm not making things all over the place. I just want to get this corner here. And with Christmas right around the corner, you know, these are, you can make some Christmas ones by using red and green as your squares. Or your design on the inside can be red or green. See? Sorry, my camera doesn't want to focus it. There you go. They look really cute. And this is a piece of the mess up. And it turned out real grungy-like. And it looks really cute. I like that. Um, the circle. I love that circle. It's, that turned out really well. And believe it or not, you don't even have to cut these out. You can leave it just as is. It just as is. Does that make sense? Anyways, you can leave it just like it is and just paste it down. I think it looks cute just like that as well. I'd rip the edges, you know, if anything. Maybe. Something like that. Give it a rip. Give it a rip. See, and it can go in a corner of a page. Just like that. If you don't feel like cutting that circle out. But if you do feel like cutting the circle out and you that got on your nerves, I'm sorry. I turn my arm with it when I do mine. If not, I'll turn the paper. I'll go like this and turn my, this arm. Make this arm do all the work. Never just stand here and go. See, you go outside your area. Using my glasses, and I shouldn't be. My regular gra glasses that I'm everyday wearing. I can barely see what I'm doing, but yeah. That one turned out really cute as well. So, again, you can find these on Amazon. Uh, the paper is mine. <laughs> well, it's not mine. Uh, I use one of these kind of papers that I got from the resale store. It doesn't matter what the print is on the back. I just use this side because I can always use that and it's cardstocky. Yeah. And these you can get at Hobby Lobby. Not Hobby Lobby. Well, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. But you can get them at uh, Home Depot. That's where I got those. Yeah, here's what you can get from from doing that. Is, is all these? There we go. <laughs> just get them into the picture for you. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. That other way. I'm trying to make it to where everybody can see everything. <laughs> so there you go, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when I am uploading another video. And um, go get you a pair. Go get you a set on Amazon. Uh, just put in signature stamps. These will come up. Eventually you will find them. I don't remember the name of the seller, but they're very colorful right now because I was using them. But yeah, that's that's what they look like. No different than the ones on, uh, on Etsy that are 80 bucks. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day. I bless you until next time.